What up players? Welcome back to my How to Paint a Middenheimer Part 2. Um, preliminary things that I did, I just put a little bit of black for the eyes and in the mouth. Um, and um, let's see what else I do. That was it. I started work on the base. Um, first thing we're going to do, now that we're back, is paint up this guy's uh, pants again. So we're going to go back to our Ceramite White. I know there are layers for this, the new white color that uh, Citadel came out with, but because I'm not going to spend money on four different kinds of white, one is quite good for me. I'm just going to use that. And I'm going to really focus and concentrate right in the middle of the leggings where the material would stretch and catch the most light. Not really focus on the bottom and the sides too much. So that's where that's where the shade and the wash, the bad eye blackhead, ended up drying, which is good. Which is what I wanted. The great thing about this new ceramite white is that you I've been using it like straight from the pot just to test whether or not it would streak and so far it's been pretty been pretty satisfactory in that regard if anything one of the reasons why you might not use it straight out of the bottle just because there's so much of it on your brush and if you don't want that bright pop of white right out of the gate you might want to wipe some on a, on a napkin Another good trait about this ceramite white over the old skull white is that um, it doesn't clump as much and that's like the most important thing when using a white you don't want it to clump on your brush so that when you when you put it to the figure it leaves a trail of just loop that can't be fixed it's very good at spreading out spreading over the surface. Okay. There are interesting rips in the front on the legs. Uh, I'm just gonna leave them shaded. I'm not gonna add any like blood stains or anything. Not sure what they're supposed to be. Okay, <laughs> next we're going to. <coughs> um, what are we gonna do next? Oh, do the same thing with the feather. That's our other prominent white area on this model.
trying to hit the tips and work my way in towards the center. Nice, very good. Um, do a little bit of work with the skin, talarn flesh. Hitting the knuckles. And then in the face. Chin, cheeks. There. Ear, cheekbones. Good. That is that. Uh, next we're gonna take a little bit of this ceramite white and give him just a little flash for his teeth. Let's see if this works because I see they molded like three little there we go. Just dot those that those teeth. Made a little mistake, so I'm gonna take some Talon flesh again and just cover up the mistake. Any mistake can be fixed just by going back over it. As you can see, there, yay! Okay, next I am going to take um, some dark flesh, which is going to be our red, and I'm just going to see if I can paint a outline of a of a wolf onto the shield, <coughs> the wolf's head. So let's see, let's see how I do, shall we? going to kind of freehand it because we're using our old citadel colors. We want to be careful that it doesn't get too thick. So there's the ear. Is a mess. It's all right. I'm just getting a basic outline. And we're gonna fix it up. So I was trying to make the wolf look like he was facing the right, but now it looks like I'm going to make him like he's facing the left. <laughs> ah. Fate. What are you going to do? Looks like that's going to be his, his 
his head and his eyes and his mouth. He's facing facing the left. Okay, we're gonna put a little dot of white for his eyes and teeth. That doesn't look like there's room for teeth, so we'll just dot the eye right about there. And then we'll fix where the eye, what is around the eye, with some dark flesh. There. So it looks like we have a wolf facing towards the sign. Not the best freehand job. You could uh, always do a little bit more planning, maybe even work it out with the with a pen. But for our uh, for our quick little little demonstration, a uh, quick little model, I think it's okay. <coughs> the last thing we're gonna take some. Um, Let's see, what do we have? Okay, while I was painting the base, I was uh, I'm waiting for this little wolf guy on the shield to dry. I was looking at the book and I see that none of them have red as a spot color for the Swords of Ulrich, except... <coughs> um, on their feathers and since we've already painted our feather white what I decided to do was just paint regal blue back into the shades had a little change of heart you know it happens so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put ceramite white into the slashes instead so uh, I apologize if you've already done red slashes and you know what when I'm looking at the rest of the guys in the uh, Middenheim entry the last couple of pages many of them have red as a spot color in the slashes so there's no need for you to change yours um, but I'm just having like a little artistic moment of oh I think I would rather have this instead of that That's a little artistic choice I'm making just now. Um, I don't clean that up in a bit, but <laughs> he's just about done. Um, I don't I'm expecting to find my Micron Arts pen. Oh, here it is. Let's see if it still has ink in it. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna write Ulrich on the shield, though. So it's really easy to do if you have a Micron Arts pen. Micron Arts pen seems to work really well. Um, you can do the you know double double line thing, the Gothic um, reinforced. Do those little uh, tricks to make it look like Gothic script, just by adding little little slashes to the ends and the tops and bottoms of all your words. There you have Ulrich. <clears throat> so he's just about done now. Thanks for watching everybody. This is gonna wrap it up for me for this one. How to paint a uh, state trooper in the colors of Middenheim. For just a little bit of more spot color I'm gonna add dark flesh as well onto the sword pommel or the, uh, the grip I guess you'd call it. I keep getting like pommel and hilt mixed up when I think about sword terminology. I'm not really a... I don't know anything about s weapons and swords. The part your hand touches. 
Yeah, that's what it's called. Thank you, Igor. You're welcome, Monster. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this War Boss tutorial on the Swords of Ulrich, the famous regiment of renown in the Empire Uniforms and Heraldry book, as well as how to paint a uh, little hourglass there on the waist. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.